I'm Rick Merrill, President and CEO of Cook Children's Healthcare System, located in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, I've had the privilege of being in healthcare and administration for 39 years, and uh, most of that time, thank goodness, has been in children's hospitals. Uh, and so I've been uh, with Cook Children's for almost 16 years and was with a children's hospital in Texas for eight years prior to that. And it's been a great ride for me. I've enjoyed, have enjoyed it, um, and I'm privileged to, to be at Cook, and I, I, I thank God every day for it. You know, music has always played an important role in my life, and I see how it has an impact on others in a very meaningful and special way. Think about growing up, you know, listening to, to, to fun music with your friends and everyone running around dancing or singing or, you know, uh, listening to a sad song and just feeling the emotion of that sad song. And uh, as, as we've had the, the, the opportunity to uh, work with our patients with some of our music uh, therapist, uh, we've seen it uh, ma make a huge difference in, in these, these children's lives and how it brings out their, their thoughts, their feelings, uh, their emotion, and we're able to get that out. And uh, it's therapeutic in many, many ways. So, uh, so through our Child Life Zone that, that we've created at Cook, music is a very big part of uh, Cook Children's and how we take care of our patients. And it is absolutely a big part of my life. This song uh, took seven years to write. Um, that normally songs don't take that long to write. Um, this one did, and I really struggled uh, because I wanted to get it right. And uh, having seen uh, my two daughters uh, go through their teenage years and all of the drama <laughs> that happens to girls and, and, and boys in their teenage years, um, and, and really there can be some some mean folks out there, some mean people, and I. Having seen all of that and seen my daughters experience some of that, I really wanted to write a song uh, that spoke to these these uh, girls and these guys that are going through some of the challenges that youth or teenagers go through. And I also, uh, being part of Cook Children's, have seen um, you know patients who who really need help. They're struggling with their pain, uh, with their diagnoses, and if we can introduce music into their lives to help brighten their day, to bring out uh, s some happy emotion, uh, then I wanted to do that as well. And so the genesis of this song was all of that, and uh, I struggled to put it together. I really had the verses written in the courses where I had a, had a hard time, and I, I finally decided to go to a friend of mine who is a music producer and writer in Nashville, and he helped me with uh, the chorus. So he is a co-writer, which I'm so proud of that I have my name next to his. But we got this song done finally. We got it recorded in Nashville. And having spent seven years writing this song, I will tell you, listening to these these next-level musicians and singers in the studio bring this song to life was probably one of the most special moments for me. It took me to my knees, and, and uh, I, I, I hope that those who listen to the song will enjoy it, and it will help them in, in some way. Well, you know, for my daughters and really anyone who's listening to this song, I hope that it brings in them a sense of um, a sense of uh, a, a sense of kindness, um, a, a sense of understanding others, uh, seeing the world through others' eyes. Instead of thinking that you have all the answers or you're more important than anyone else, I hope that there's some some humility that comes to people out of this song. But more than anything else, I hope that that this song uh, speaks to someone's heart in a way that they know that whatever they're going through, hope truly is just a breath away. I think music is very much uh, an important part of the entire healing process. Uh, and I think music is therapeutic on so many levels, emotionally, but we've seen with our patients and our, and our musicians how it actually helps them deal with their pain. Um, and so it, it heals in so many ways. And even if you go back to, to the Old Testament, King Saul, who was mad, the only thing that calmed him, that, that calmed his spirit, was a harp, a gentle harp, right? And so 
uh, it, it, music is very important, and it, it has to be part of the healing process. And I think uh, I think if it, if if you skip out on the music, then I think you're really missing a big part of dealing with uh, the pain and, and the hurt and the, and the emotion and those things that all of our patients go through.